Dear YouTubers, today we are working on this circuit. Uh, this uh, video will be about this circuit. This is a pre-built circuit which I just purchased, uh, assembled. Uh, and this is not very expensive. You can purchase for one dollar. I purchased it for one dollar. And this is a timer circuit. I will do some work on this one. Um, I will do some reverse engineering on this circuit. Uh, as schematic diagram is not available with me so I am going to make a schematic diagram for this circuit the reverse engineering is the way how a circuit is built we are going to make it I mean to say we will bring it on paper how the schematic diagram is uh, so we will make a reverse engineering on this circuit and the reverse engineering we are making we are uh, actually we are making the schematic diagram for a circuit uh, this video you must uh, watch up to the end because you will learn so many things while uh, you will completely watch this video the while what is the purpose of uh, this reverse engineering on this circuit is uh, we are going to um, break it down and it's uh, pre uh, schematic diagram how the connections are and how what the components have been connected if you will make uh, reverse engineering on any circuit any small circuit like this one you will learn so many things i am going to start the reverse engineering on this circuit uh, if we will do reverse engineering on this one we will grab too much knowledge about this uh, in this circuit we we have 21 components total 21 components and single sided printed circuit board the, the purpose of uh, reverse engineering is uh, we must know what is there and we can grab the schematic diagram then we can uh, put this schematic diagram with us and we can put it together in some big circuits this is a small circuit actually you can see and we can make a big system while we will combine small small circuits and uh, this will be a part of the big circuit so we will may we can make a complete system uh, if we will we will uh, combine the small small circuits uh, for the reverse engineering we can see there is a chip inside this is triple five timer chip you can see and uh, we will make the circuit around this now i'm just going to give you the close up of the triple five timer then we can see in other components resistor capacitors and uh, diodes a bridge rectifier relay resistors and uh, transistors also there is a transistor uh, leds this is combining this circuit uh, so we will take the complete information about this uh, first we will see about this uh, integrated circuit triple five there is a notch you can see in this notch or this cut uh, underneath this uh, underneath is a pin one here is a pin one and now we are going to count it one two three four five six seven eight so these are total eight one two three four five six seven eight so the, the opposite of one is eight so this is eight pin ic oh, first we are going to make the block uh, this block we will make a rectangle on paper you, we will take the pencil and paper and then we will make the sketch about this circuit first we will make the block for the IC for pin number one we will see on the PCB printed side the copper side we are going to check uh, the pin number one we can see here one is connected um, here and here these two connections are some other connections are there and there are two connections we can see over here these two soldering uh, blobs and now we can see on the other side there are two diodes and nodes are connected to this point two diodes anode anode are connected uh, anode is actually connected to negative we know this uh, on the bridge rectifier these four diodes are actually making a bridge rectifier where this uh, trace is going this all is negative so now we are going to draw the pin number one on this block and then we are making it ground the ground is something like that and one is written like this as you know this this is the very basics and pin number two then pin number two we are going to look at two two is connected to something two 
places it is connected on the other side there is a resistor 18 kilo ohm we can see this uh, brown gray and um, orange this this is the combination of the resistor color code so this is 18 kilo ohms 18 kilo ohm is connected to pin number two we will make pin number two 18 kilo ohms and then other component which is connected to the other side of the resistor we are going to look at uh, this is connected over here I see pin number 8 it is connected and pin number 8 is further connected to pin number 4 so this uh, 8 and 4 they are combinedly connected and then it is coming to some other places and here is one connection you can see so, so this uh, connection we can make we can see on the other side other side we can see and here we can see one jumper this jumper is coming here and from this jumper the trace is going to here these two blobs we can see these two blobs are diodes bridge rectifier cathodes this is the plus point positive uh, supply positive rail so we are writing plus VCC over here and pin number 4 and 8 are connected so we are making them connected and again they are also going to plus VCC supply pin number 2 one resistor is connected then pin number 2 is connected to one other component we can see on the other side here is a capacitor this capacitor is connected to pin number 2 further and the other side of the capacitor is connected to pin number 1 which is grounded so this uh, capacitor is connected in true and ground so we will draw a capacitor and the other side we will draw will, will be grounding the value is twofold we can see there is a capacity or capacitance and there is voltage working voltage uh, this is 50 volt and 0 0.47 uh, microfarad and uh, 50 volt we are writing on the paper and then what we are going to do is we are further investigating the f 2 is completed now we are going for 3 pin number 3 is connected to one component here and other side we are looking at is there is a resistance which is 10k resistor brown black and orange so this is 10k resistance 10k resistance is connected and then this is going to the base of a transistor 10k resistance we are mentioning and then base of the transistor and this transistor is a uh, 10 a1015 something like that a7733 will also do so this is a pnp transistor the emitter is connected to vcc the pnp transistor uh, emitter is going to positive vcc supply so this is coming over here you can see so this is positive vcc we are connecting this transistor the collector is coming to the relay point here is the relay and relay coil is connected to uh, this uh, the other side of the relay is grounded so we are connecting the relay to the collector relay symbol is something like that and RL is written uh, you can write a relay also 12 volt relay coil and then you can see there is a diode which is here is a diode which is connected on across the coil of the relay so we will connect one diode the collect the cathode will go to the collector side and ground side will be anode this is actually while the relay is switching on and off then back emf is produced so that back emf is high voltage which can which can uh, destroy the transistor so this a diode will prevent pin number three is completed pin number four we are looking four and eight are connected already five number uh, five we can see five there is a component and that component is there is a small small ceramic capacitor and its value is something 103 0 0.01 microfarad we are writing um, this uh, value 
and uh, 103 is written on the board as well so it's clearly mentioned so five pin we are making and then a capacitor and then the other side is grounded so 103 we are writing r.01 microfarad is the value for this capacitor five number is completed number six we are looking six and seven are connected together so we will connect both pins together six and seven and then there are some components connected to we can see there is a component which is a resistor so one kilo ohm resistor brown black and red 1k resistor is connected we will make it out and then we will connect one resistor 1k resistor we are connecting to these two pins which is uh, 6 and 7 and then the resistor is further connected to the potentiometer and this potentiometer is controlling the timing and here it is here the other two sides of the potentiometer are connected to positive rail of the supply so you can see it is connected to positive rail and we are writing VCC over here and VCC is common for all then there is another component we can see pin number six and seven is connected one capacitor is connected over here that capacitor is actually for the timing and positive is connected to the two uh, 330 microfarad and uh, 25 volt so the other side is also grounded for this capacitor so we are writing the value 330 micro and uh, 25 volt and the other side we are going to make ground mm, as you can see and here a few further components are relay two contacts three contacts they have given center and the two points and c and o are there we are bringing them out these two contacts we will use in our circuit uh, this is the output of the circuit actually control output uh, we will use these two uh, in our circuit i will show in some other video uh, how we are using this one so you people should stay tuned for the further parts of this video since are completed the uh, there are two leds connected the first led is connected to the collector there is a resistor 1k and then red led is connected when the while the circuit is on the relay is switched then this led will be also switched and it will show uh, the um, switching on of the circuit and other side of the led is grounded red led so we are writing red led over here resistor is 1k so we are writing 1k over here then the code is brown black and red there is a green led which is showing the power which is from the collector so the collector the positive vcc we will take and then one resistor and led we will connect the green led over here the anode will go to positive and cathode will go to ground now the big capacitor you can see for 70 microfarad and 25 volt this is for the supply parallel this is for the smoothing of the supply you can see over here and there is a resistor also which is for the bleeding of this resistor uh, 560 ohm and this is green blue and brown 560 kilo 560 ohms small value resistor then we are making it one side vcc and the other side we are grounding uh, and writing 560 ohms we are going to connect a parallel capacitor which i already told that one side will be grounded 470 uh, microfarad and 25 volt we will connect so this circuit has been completed you can see only the bridge rectifier is remaining and this is timer and this is delay automatic on if you need the detail about this circuit so downside you will see the blog uh, the blog you will get uh, more information about this video and uh, the testing procedure I will show later on in another video and the use also we will show in another video so this was the reverse engineering about this circuit now we have a schematic diagram we can use it in any circuit any gadget and any circuit big system thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like share with friends